Kodenshkel guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are here with the brand new seasonal reward for, of course, Season of the Witch. And I'll be completely honest, I sort of forgot this was in the game. I just haven't seen anyone really rocking this weapon or anything. And it's going to be, of course, the Malediction Hand Cannon. Now, how you can get this, of course, is by getting to rank 15 in either... Of course, the Vanguard, of course, um, with Shaxx himself, or with, of course, Gambit, you will get different versions of it, color schemes and whatnot. But the Malediction itself, this is the brand new seasonal reward. You can see, obviously, it's got all the iron traits from, of course, each section. But it will also have, of course, this wildcard trait, which is honestly going to be really, really dope because the wildcard trait is actually a banging perk. And then when it comes to roles too, it will of course have its set role because it is going to be seasonal. So it will have Discord and Harmony, which is a super, super dope ass kind of combo. Single kill with a different weapon, all of a sudden you've got increased damage and basically infinite magazine and everything going. Or you can go for more kind of bang for your book. And when I say bang, I mean explosive payload. So explosive payload will be on this, of course, with the enlightened action. So dealing damage, increased reload speed and handling. We are going to showcase what the malediction is like. I mean, it couldn't be worse than some of the other seasonal weapons we've gotten recently. So without further ado, let's go in with the malediction hand count. Alrighty, so we are gonna be on uh, Multiplex. That's the name of this map, right? <laughs> it's the brand new PvP map, obviously, from this season. But this is gonna be Malediction, and we are gonna try out the Discord Harmony roll. Now, it means I have to get into kill with something else, so I'll probably try to get like a, you know, a little quick one tap with Milo Monarch or something. But basically, with Discord and Harmony on this, you can start to a little bit two tap on that, obviously, depending on resilience and everything. But you can kind of get those two taps going, everything, which is gonna be really, really nice. Now, granted, I do have to get a kill with. A weapon that isn't the malediction, which is kind of annoying because, yeah, everyone's just running away from me. What? Guys, what is this? Wait, all I need is a quick kill with the course. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this freaking fight. I'm gonna die. Okay, all we need is a quick kill with that, and then I can start getting these two taps going. So if I just swing this corner, you'll see you can start to get two taps going. Now, I will say that I love Discord and Harmony and everything. You can see you get the extra accuracy, you get the two taps going and everything. Discord is really good, of course, or Harmony and everything. It's really good if you have a build kind of built around, of course, getting kills with like a different special weapon or whatever. But for me personally, I think that PvP, this is going to be the best setup. Obviously, as I said, Discord Harmony is dope, but Enlightened Action and, of course, Explosive Payload, it just gives you more bang for your buck in terms of, like, obviously, flinch. Um, obviously, you're not going to get, like, obviously, the one types coming with other weapons consistently all the time. Oh my god, yo, save me. Ah! I'm still alive. We live, boys. I got four freaking bullets. You know what, though? Okay, they actually run off. But yeah, as I said, if you want more of a consistent dueling sort of weapon, you're going to want to go for, of course, the Enlightened Action with, of course, the um, the Explosive Payload because it just gives you a lot more advantages in a 1v1. I said, it's not bad, the Discord Armory. Don't keep, I'm not saying that's ass PvP. It's actually really good for double tapping. But it's just more for consistency's sake. I would go for this sort of roll. Yo, young man. Oh, no, he's 1 HP. Eh, you ain't getting out of here, buddy. You ain't not getting out of here. <laughs> but you'll see the enlightened action and everything kind of going in clutch for me and everything as well. As I said, it is honestly... Oh my god, when did he kill me? Wait, hi, Chocho's using the malediction. After me, to start saying nobody uses this, he's using it. But yeah, you can see explosive payload lightened. It is just more personal preference. Like, you don't have to use these sorts of combos. This is just kind of what I'd go for. As I said, two-topping is obviously really nice. But for me personally, i just rather kind of go in with... Uh, the more consistent roll because you can start getting like just even any damage before you're going to do well with this weapon. Oh, there's the Enlightened Action coming in close though for the reload. And you can see the Telesto balls with the wall card are actually really, really freaking dope. Honestly, I love the Telesto balls so much. Like there is obviously the, uh, oh, there is obviously other perks and everything you can kind of go for in terms of Vanguard's Vindication. Good on run and all that, but I'm telling you, Telesto bolts are just going to be the best ones to kind of go for. It's basically just like a free ass kind of, um, I don't know, extra little bit of damage traps if someone runs over it. And oh, why is there two dudes here? Why? I, that was me going to get shoulder charged. That's why I ran back. I <laughs> got two tapped. But yeah, I will say so far, I'm actually really liking the Malediction. I, it feels pretty juicy, as I said. It has obviously the uh, the 120 kind of range going for it. And obviously, the damage is going to be really nice too, in terms of 80 per dome. So yeah, I will say that when it comes to the Malediction, do you not think that this is going to be bad or anything? This is actually a really solid hand cannon. I think maybe people just haven't been using it so far because maybe it's too early in the season to get to rank 15 or whatever. Maybe people are still like, trying to get the rank up to try to get the weapon, but I'll say that this is definitely a better seasonal reward we've gotten in a while. I mean, last season's was the last shite. It was the freaking uh, DMT ripoff. 
And then the season before that was Lifefall, I think was... Oh, it was the freaking Glaive, the Eclipse stuff, which PvE honestly wasn't bad at all, but PvP it was just like, yeah, you're not going to freaking use the Glaive like that. And oh, Okay, we are getting these guys. No, I whiffed every single shot on this guy. My good God. It's based off the last few seasons of weapons we've gotten, PvP anyway. This is definitely a breath of fresh air. This can definitely go absolutely ham in the right hands. And yo, young man, get your ass over here. That's a healing nade. Man's trying to run away. No, sir. No freaking sir. And as I said, I love the Telesto boss. Oh, my little Telesto boss go ham. They're so freaking good. Oh, uh, only a couple more chachos down here, though. There's a triple tap. I'm telling you, the triple tap with it is really actually nice. And I do, honestly, I kind of like that it is a kinetic in terms of the feel and everything. It does kind of feel like a... Kind of like that spare rations kind of roll you get going and everything. It just gives you that extra crispy sort of snap. Oh, oh, I'm 1 HP. I have two bullets. I got two bullets in a melee. Do I get this double tap into a melee? I don't know this map. I have no idea where this guy is. And yo, we'll get the melee going. <laughs> I just got around the wall. Wait, there's another dude here or is that a smoke? It's a smoke. <laughs> but yeah, I will actually say that this 120, it actually is really nice. Any sort of increase in damage or whatever. No! Oh, oh my God, that was freaking scary. But yeah, any increased sort of damage and everything with a 120, you're going to do absolute harm. So if you get things like, of course, the, uh, the old rating going and everything, peekaboo, Pikachu, peek it, buddy, do it. Thank you. <laughs> There's the enlightened action. Oh my God, that's heavy. But yeah, any sort of damage increase on a 120, it's going to be juicy. I mean, Radiant is going to be great. If you got obviously the kinetic sort of surges going, it's going to be great. Yeah, I will definitely say that the Malediction, and this ain't bad PvP whatsoever. I, as I said, I don't know why I haven't come up against it more. Maybe this is better in class. Obviously, people going for like opening shot, hand cannons or whatever. And 140 still being kind of king. But I will definitely say that when it comes to this weapon, I actually really like a PvP. And oh, the, is there a guy over here? Oh, there was a freaking... Oh, no. Oh, oh my God, we're alive. <laughs> Am I still freaking surviving this? But yeah, actually, I really do like it. Honestly, I actually do really like it a lot. I think that it can definitely go harm now. I'm actually just going to soup this guy. Get out your well, buddy. Get out your freaking well. Get out the well. And wait, the <laughs> that was an accidental kill. I didn't even see that guy jump across. He's like protected the president style. Just took a freaking shot of a Dawn Blade. Uh, anyone else want to take it? Oh, no. No, I ran out at the wrong freaking time. And come on, Tricky Hunter, me and you. Me and you against the world, buddy. Me and you against the freaking world. No, no, guys, run, 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 run. Vegetables, run. There's another dude here. Oh my god, why are they all freaking everywhere? Give me this freaking bolt so I can get some extra damage going. What I actually am really liking is, I will definitely say though, that when it comes to the bow, oh my god. Oh, oh. no, he's 1 HP. I thought I'd get him. But when it comes to this weapon and everything, I will say that base mag wise, it's actually really bad base. I have the backup mag uh, mod on. That's why I don't have target adjusters or anything on at the backup mag because eight bullets for me. Not that it's terrible. Obviously, it's a 120, so you're still kind of getting. I'm going to get hit by every single super. You know, we're, we're going to have to do it to him. We're going to have to freaking do it to him. Oh, no, buddy. No, buddy. Died. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this stupid ass sunbreaker gone? I want to kill him. We get out of that super. But yeah, I will say that definitely this weapon, I actually did really like it. I think it could definitely go in ham. Obviously, it is going to be personal preference. Some people don't like the 120. Some people love them. And yo, buddy. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> He's got to like swing the corner and slam me, right? Oh, oh. oh my God. He hit me with the dome. Uh, why did you just do that in the first place, buddy? <laughs> God. Oh, uh, man, this map has so many windows and things where you can legit just stare at a person. Hey, we got the revenge. But I will say overall that this uh, Mon Addiction PvE, it's actually a banger. I would personally go for uh, the Explosive Payload. You can go for, um, of course, the Harmony if you want to start trying to double tap. Explosive Payload, though, for me, double flinch is just so nice. Just It just makes people's angle in the air. It's so good for dueling. And I will say overall, the Mon Addiction, this is actually a bit of a banger. I'm surprised a lot more people aren't really using it. Maybe because, as I said, 140 is still great. And obviously, there's other weapons, but... I think this thing is dope, and honestly, it looks pretty sick, too. Alrighty, so time for the PvE side of things with, of course, the Mild Addiction. I will definitely say that PvE, it's not going to be bad here, but I don't really think the rows are kind of maybe really geared toward PvE. Now, granted, like, I'm not saying that I have to give it, like, I don't know, Kinetic Tremors or anything, but, I mean, Kinetic Tremors would be nice. <laughs> I just think that, generally speaking, um, usually when these weapons come around, like, in terms of the seasonal weapons, they're usually like, having, like, a God tier setup for one side and then a God tier setup for the other. I will say, obviously, having the Discord and everything kind of going are easier to obtain or easier to get going in PvE is going to be really nice just for infinite mag. And that definitely deals with that eight mag scene, magazine size I was trying to talk about, which is kind of a kind of annoying to have eight in the, uh, in the mag or whatever. And especially with um, the buff two hand cannons this season in terms of PvE damage, 
it might be solid pve with the right role but i just think that generally speaking when it comes to uh hand cannons like this kinetics they're definitely not going to be really the roles you want to be going in with in terms of you, you probably just go for like more bang for your book so you're gonna have like stasis hand cannons with like headstone you'll have strong hand cannons with hatchings or whatever when it comes to top style hand cannons there's probably just better even like a dragonfly or fate bringer or whatever firefly will be freaking way better as i said so yeah i'm gonna see why people might not want to use this in the old pve arena the only thing i'll give it though with pve is that it would of course have um the kind of the wall card going for it so those little extra like pedestal balls will be really really freaking nice and 120s they're really good for kind of sitting back with too so if you want to just get some extra damage kind of going in one free kill with like a fusion rifle or whatever and you can see the discord just gives me that infinite ammo and kills so yeah you can definitely get it going in that regard so it's not it's not as pve that's what i'm saying it's just that i just think that there's probably a few better hand cannons in the game for the lpve arena as i said oh i'm getting blasted ah don't kill me but yeah i just think that generally speaking when it comes to the hand cannon yeah there's probably better ones i'm not gonna lie there's probably better ones you kind of go in with that's what I'm, I'm not saying that this ass or anything either so if you want to use it for pve more power to you i just think that you're definitely wasting a slot probably using this sort of weapon there's even i think there's even other hand cannons right now that can roll discord and everything kind of going anyway so there's nothing really too special explosive is that a really nice pve obviously as well but i will just say there's nothing too special i would say right now about this hand cannon pve well that's it for me and the malediction hand cannon itself as i said this hand cannon it is actually really really nice i think pvp this is super solid dude this can definitely go ham and then pve i don't think it's bad i just think that there's probably better out there but as far as seasonal weapons go this is probably one of the better ones we've gotten in a while the last two have kind of been really terrible i mean the, four, the last right i just think was a really bad like design this was better like the dmt was just a better freaking version of it and then i will say that the eclipse of this stuff wasn't bad pve as the glaive was super solid but glaze pvp weren't great but this one honestly for pvp definitely it can go in i do think that once you get the malediction itself give it a shot because you will go ham i would say enlightened action and of course the uh, explosive payload they'd be the better roles i kind of go for just because obviously the hand cannon itself it just it's more consistent as a dueling this one you kind of have to rely on getting kills with other things don't get me wrong two topping is nice but it is personal preference what ones you kind of want to go in with anyway and i will say you won't go wrong with either of the choices so yeah i definitely said the malediction itself definitely once you get it i give it a shot i think this is an absolute banger of a seasonal weapon 120 rpm goodness really cool model in terms of um things like the bottom dollar and everything that has this just think overall yeah this is definitely no slash pvp pve you can kind of ignore but pvp this seasonal weapon it can go in but regardless if you like the video just like i'd really support content subscribe and fantastic day and hopefully i'll see you in the next collective in the next one